welcome back to the channel on this video I thought I'd talk about a legal bicycle electric bicycle and there it is right there the cafe cruiser and since Oregon has recently updated their e-bike laws to allow uh, class 3 now into the picture I thought I'd do a a review or a talk of a bike that is completely legal and that's this bike right here the cafe cruiser by ride one up and what makes it legal is it's a class 3 bike with a throttle that allows you to go up to 20 miles per hour it's a thumb throttle right here and you can get a maximum of 20 miles per hour with your throttle and then 28 miles per hour while pedaling and that's exactly what the Oregon laws are now telling us uh, we can do or have. And so uh, I thought I would uh, show the bike here. And this is exactly the bike they're looking for as far as specs uh, and speeds and pedal assist levels and all that good stuff. So this is a class three legal e-bike now here in Oregon. And I'm going to get on right now and go for a little ride. It's been raining just a little bit, but it's not that bad. So, I like the new law. The, the class 1, 2, and 3. And the one thing that I don't like about the law is where you can have up to 20 miles per hour on pedalists or on uh, throttle and then to go to 28 miles per hour you can pedal to get to 28 but not throttle i don't understand that one i'm never going to be able to figure that one out because what's the difference whether you're going 20 miles per hour or 28 miles per hour whether you're pedaling or throttling you're still going 28 miles per hour so i'm not sure what the difference is there but anyway it is what it is and that's why i was mentioning that this bike is exactly what they would deem as a uh, legal bike this is the perfect uh, definition now of what's legal here in oregon and I'm just pedaling it right now in Pedal Assist 3. It's a nice, comfortable, anywhere from 13 to 17 miles per hour, 18. In Pedal Assist 3, it's a nice, comfortable, um, for pedaling, it's in a nice, comfortable spot here at pa uh, PAS 3. This is my favorite set setting for the bike, for pedaling. nice brakes too on this bike and the throttle is really nice on this bike it gets you off and running at a pretty good clip you know it's not a slow um, takeoff it kind of has a nice takeoff to get you going it makes it easier for when you're pedaling to get the bike uh, going before you start pedaling because it's not easy to start and by doing that too I don't have to shift gears I like to leave it in, in uh, gear 8 the highest gear because uh, when you're pedaling nobody wants to be ghost pedaling or pedaling really fast when you don't have to I will leave a link in the description if you're interested in checking out the ride one up cafe cruiser I can't say enough about this bike every time I ride it I'm really enjoying it I'm not sure if all states that have class 3 e-bike laws are the same as far as the use of the throttle but if you know a state that has a class 3 e-bike law that allows you 
to throttle past 28 or past 20 I should say to 228 let me know in the comments because uh, be kind of interesting to see if any state does have that that has the uh, class 3 uh, e-bike law whether you're similar to us here in Oregon and have to pedal up to that or can you just uh, throttle up to 28 But I, like I say, I, I think it's really a silly law. And uh, to me, 28 is 28. Uh, you should do whatever you want. If you want to uh, pedal to 28, that's fine. If you want to throttle to 28, that's fine. Uh, so if it was me, uh, uh, the one writing the law and signing it, I would sign off on 28 either. Um, but I'm not the lawmaker. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think of that. Do you think that's a silly uh, law where you can only pedal or only throttle to 20 and then you got to pedal to get to the 28? Or do you like that? And maybe if you like it, why do you like that? What's... What do you th what do you think the uh, benefits are? It's kind of backwards. Some some have mentioned this. It's kind of backwards. You'd think that you would pedal to twenty and then throttle to twenty. That that doesn't sound does sound like more sense right there. That should be the rule. They're going to do it. It should be. Pedal or throttle up to 20, and then if you want to throttle to 28, I like that one. Or you can still pedal 28 if you want, if that's your preference. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. I see some nasty looking clouds over here. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, Thank you very much for supporting us. Just hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to comment on this or any other videos, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road.